Natalia Levy and welcome to today's video. I don't know if you are like me and you love all different kitchen gadgets, but I adore them. So whenever I see something new, I cannot wait to just play with it and explore it. So today, um, my original thought was to create a video using a vegetable sheet cutter, which is going to be the tool that's going to be really showcased in this video. But as I was doing prep, the recipe calls for grated onion and KitchenAid has this amazing set of tools and attachment that grates for you. So instead of using a traditional grater, now this is my first time using it, I decided to uh, try this thing out. So if you're going to be doing this with me, looks like a pretty easy setup here. Um, so it comes with three different blades. One does the slicing, one does the small grating, and one does the large grating. So I'm using the large one here. So I'm going to take my onion. I only need half an onion. We'll see how this works. Does it look like a good fit? No. Looks like we need to cut the onion into quarters. this baby. I guess I should tell you the recipe that we're going to be making today. So using our vegetable sheet cutter, we are going to be making noodles out of butternut squash. And the final recipe is going to be butternut squash and turkey cannelloni. It's going to be incredibly delicious. So we'll take half of our onion here, put it in. So I'm assuming we do this. There's a little ridge here. So let's check this out. It's working pretty good. Now what you can't see is all of the onion stayed inside. my seal of approval for sure. It's so easy for grating anything, cheese, potatoes. I make these um, really good. My daughter, she's 14 and she still doesn't eat a ton of vegetables. We really are working on expanding her horizons. So one of the vegetable dishes that she likes is uh, zucchini pancakes. So this will be absolutely perfect to make our zucchini pancakes. Instead of standing and grating and maybe grating the knuckles in there too, which I know happens for some people. This is fantastic, I love it. You should try it. Um, and now we're gonna move on to making our stuffing for our kind of wine. Let's get going. Okay, so to start making the filling, we have a pound of ground jerky. I'm preheating my pan. And we're going to saute this turkey meat with the onions just until it's no longer pink. So we have our turkey saute, finished sauteing with the onion. Let's transfer this into the bowl. And just so that I don't wash a million dishes, I'm using the same bowl in which we grated our onions into. See, there's a lot of moisture, which is perfect. This is, we want a definitely moist filling. Delicious. Beautiful. So then the next thing that we're going to do, is I have this little mini food processor, it's pretty convenient. I'm going to take the six ounce jar of marinated artichoke parts. I'm going to add them in together with all the marinade and all the olive oil that's in there. So we want to create this creamy paste. And to the artichokes, 
we're going to add about a tablespoon, which is about a four sun-dried tomatoes. Together with a little bit of that oil. And now we're going to puree this into a nice paste. So at this point, the artichoke paste has a lot of flavor, it has a lot of seasonings. Um, it's up to you how chunky you prefer this. Um, let's see, it looks pretty good to me. Oh, it's perfect. We don't want it to be complete paste. We want to have a little bit of chunks just so that we can taste it when we eat it. Fill it. Okay, so now, up until this point, I haven't put any salt in or any other seasonings. Now, the salt in this recipe is going to come from the artichokes, from the sun-dried tomatoes, so there's gonna be a ton of flavor, and also from cheese. So to this turkey and artichokes mixture, we will add half a cup of cheese. Uh, you can use a uh, grated mozzarella cheese or I have a, a four cheese Italian blend right there. We're going to mix all of this together now and this is going to be our filling. I cannot wait for you to make this at home and taste this recipe. It is absolutely out of this world. One of my favorite recipes I've ever created actually. So we're going to take this stuffing, we're going to put it on the side and we're going to get two more on making our noodles from butternut squash. We have the KitchenAid vegetable sheet cut. And when I got this, and when I was started to make sheets from vegetables, my brain became over flooded with the possibilities and the amount of recipes I'm creating on this. Oh, you guys, this is gonna be incredible. You love it. So, the vegetable sheet cutter comes with a whole bunch of Stuff here. You have a thick noodle and a thin noodle attachment. So this literally anything that now you make with pasta, you can make with this. So here we go. So we have about this much space to work in on the vegetable, which is about four inches, I would say. Okay, so we're gonna work with butternut squash and we're gonna make noodles. When you, when you guys see this, it's gonna be amazing. The beauty of working with butternut squash is, is it has kind of two parts to it. One is like this thick part, which is this is where our seeds are on the inside. And then we have this elongated part, which is this is the part that we're gonna to use to make our noodles. You don't have to even peel it. And then on what to do with the rest of your butternut squash, I have a, an amazing recipe on, this, on my website. It is Velvety Butternut Squash Bisque. It's in one pot. I will post the link below. It's, it's, I love soup. So that butternut squash soup is incredible. So now here's what we do. So we have this piece and we kind of put it through just like so. And now we take this part and then we put it through just like so. All right, and now we set it for setting of two. Don't forget to plug in your devices. And here we go. You should see the face of my videographer right now. How cool is this? I'm so excited. It's just, it's incredible. Right? So now we're going to reserve this fork again for the soup. So now what we can do is we take this noodle. Yeah, so now this part is a little bit thinner. So we're just going to cut it off. So now we're going to take these noodles and we are going to cut them to about this size. Not 
That no. size is perfect. I think just enough to put a filling inside and wrap it under like a baby. What four is a good good amount for two people? So now once you start cutting these and you have a little bit of skin on, you just pop that skin off. So let's see, so from one sheet we've got, and I, I cut them pretty long, but this is what, what we're going to do is we're going to create this noodle and we're going to put the stuffing inside and then we're going to bake them. Okay, so let's get ready with our baking pan. So here's what we're going to do. I just use a store-bought marinara sauce. I'm going to put a little bit right at the bottom of the pan. Nice. I'm going to take our noodle, just like that into your hand. Take a spoon and put it right through the center. You can be pretty generous with the feeling here. Now we'll fold it on one side. Fold it on the other side and we'll place it with that seam down right into the sauce. Perfect. Now, in this case, we use butternut squash, but you can also make this with a zucchini noodle or even potato. Probably just one of these with a little side salad would be plenty portion size. Mm -hmm. Well, let's try and squeeze just one more in just so that we have an even amount. I'm just gonna stuff it in. We're gonna stuff the stuffed cannelloni inside our baking. So now what we'll do is we're just going to top it with a little bit more sauce right on top and sprinkle with some cheese. Once this melts, it's going to look absolutely spectacular. Okay, and now we're going to put this in our oven that has been preheated to 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. I found that 40 minutes is just enough time to get these butternut, noodle, butternut squash noodles soft. Okay, in the oven this goes. Wow, it's a gorgeous cannelloni. Oh, the smell is out of this world. Now, it looks beautiful. The only thing that we might want to do is I have some basil. So, let chiffon out some basil. In order to do that, take a few leaves and then we'll roll them just like this with a little cigar. And then we'll chop. And that makes an absolutely stunning presentation. My mouth is watering to taste this. It's very exciting for me to create these dishes for you that are delicious, that are healthy, that are upscale, that are interesting, that are sophisticated. Because this channel is all about sophisticated, healthy cooking. And we elevate your skills, we elevate your tastes. 
super excited. Please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. I will be so, so grateful for you to you share it with your friends and your family. Thank you and live a deliciously healthy life.